Ten years ago, after months of relatively shallow drilling, Ivanhoe Mines geologists, camped in the middle of Mongolia's Gobi Desert, rolled the dice and drilled their first deep exploration hole into the stony plain at Oyu Tolgoi. The drill core from Hole 150 was pretty much pure pay dirt, containing more than 500 meters of high-grade gold and copper mineralization. On July 17, 2001, after independent analysis of the deep core, Ivanhoe Mines broke the news to the world. Announcing what was to be its first of several major discoveries at Oyu Tolgoi, Ivanhoe said the new zone contained potentially significant porphyry gold, copper, and molybdenum mineralization. Ten years ago, few people could have guessed just how significant this discovery would prove to be. Oyu Tolgoi had waited a long, long time to be discovered. For a thousand years or more, traditional nomadic families had sustained themselves by shepherding their goats, sheep, and camels around the region's sparse pastures in step with the changing seasons. Eight hundred years ago, the united Mongol tribes surged eastward through China and westward all the way to Europe, commanding the largest contiguous empire in human history. Now, the 23-kilometer-long chain of mineral deposits discovered at Oyu Tolgoi by Ivanhoe Mines during the past ten years is giving generations of Mongolians cause to dream a bold new dream. In the eternal Gobi, signs of transformation are everywhere. Today, there are bus stops in the middle of the desert around the original discovery hill at Oyu Tolgoi. The buses are shuttling upwards of 14,000 workers around the Oyu Tolgoi site, where they are building the $4 billion mining and processing complex. The largest economic development project ever undertaken in Mongolia is just months away from the planned production of its first copper, gold and silver. A sequence of daily photographs captures the remarkable progress that has been made on the concentrator complex during the past year. Initial mining from the open pit, commissioning of the processing plant and test production are planned for next year. Full commercial production is set for 2013. The concentrator plant will begin by processing 100,000 tons of ore a day that will be mined from the open pit. Phase two of the development will see the addition of ore produced from the copper-rich Hugo Dummett underground deposit, beginning in 2015. Underground ore will boost throughput at the concentrator to up to approximately 160,000 tons per day. Other future stages of development based on the resources discovered to date are still to be planned. The construction of access to the vast Hugo deposit has been underway for more than six years. The sinking of shaft number one to a depth of more than 1,300 meters was completed in 2008. Since then, more than 7,000 meters of underground access tunnels have been built, and another 35,000 meters will be completed before production begins. Shaft number two will be 10 meters in diameter. It'll be the first of two initial production shafts that will deliver ore to the surface from the underground block cave mine at Hugo North. The head frame over shaft number two will tower 31 stories above the Gobi. Underground mining will use block caving techniques in which the ore body will be undercut from below and progressively collapsed as ore is withdrawn and hauled to the surface for processing. The minerals at Oyu Tolgoi are part of Mongolia's resources heritage. The Mongolian government's acquisition last year of a 34% interest in Oyu Tolgoi was confirmation of the project's strategic significance. Prime Minister Batbold, his cabinet ministers and members of parliament have visited the site to inspect the progress. The scale of the development and the government's participation with Ivanhoe Mines in the project have established Oyu Tolgoi as an economic endowment for future generations of Mongolians.
In a major commitment to helping Mongolia create sustainable jobs and communities, the project is sponsoring a $58 million program to provide technical and vocational training for up to 3,300 men and women. Training will be conducted at 36 institutes. Scholarships are also being provided to 200 students at Mongolian and international universities each year. OU Tolgoi is projected to produce 1.2 billion pounds of copper, or 544 million tons, and 650,000 ounces of gold every year for the first 10 years. The project is also expected to produce more than 3 million ounces of silver each year during the first 10 years of production. Revenues from silver and other byproduct minerals such as molybdenum will considerably lower OU Tolgoi's average cash cost to produce a pound of copper or an ounce of gold. A development study by independent consultants has projected that the resources already established at OU Tolgoi would support production for approximately 60 years, with ongoing exploration still expanding the deposits Mining experts agree that OU Tolgoi could sustain production for well over 100 years. The decade of discoveries at OU Tolgoi has been a mere heartbeat in Mongolia's long and storied history. Today, Mongolia is widely recognized as one of the world's great untapped mineral storehouses. OU Tolgoi on course to become one of the world's largest copper and gold producers is helping to redefine the nation's destiny.